Hey guys, it's My Face Story here, and today I am here to talk to you about my acne story. So, it's not like most acne stories. I didn't always have severe acne. Um, it actually kind of all happened just one day, and I know that's really weird to think about, and it feels like it's hard for me because I have to keep reminding myself that I didn't do anything to bring it on. Um, for me, it was genetic, and my dad had really bad acne when he turned, I think, 20, 21, and then it went away, and he, I've never seen him with a pimple, like, ever again. So, the same thing kind of happened to me. Um, I got really, really bad acne when I turned 20. It started out with one, and then two, and then I remember one being on my nose, right here, and it was there for so long, and I just thought, what? Like, what the hell? Why isn't this thing going away? Um, I, I mean, I'd never had cystic acne before, so I didn't know what it was. I think until you experience something, you don't really know what it is. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, but, so yeah, I just, I was kind of, I guess at a loss for words. I didn't... I just felt like I had this thing like engulfing my face. I remember waking up every day and Googling, do you get, <laughs> I remember Googling, <laughs> do you get uglier the more older you get? Cause I thought every single day when I woke up and I had a new pimple, I was just getting uglier. I was like, I'm just getting uglier cause I'm getting old. But <laughs> I mean, that's not true. That's not true at all. So don't think that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it started out as this just one on my nose and then it completely just started spreading and I don't know why but it decided to target just along my cheeks like it decided to target here and here. I wouldn't really get any on my chin and I'd never really gotten any on my forehead. I would, I would get a line right here. I remember I had like a line of them and I always thought it was weird that they kind of came and gone in like formations, but whenever I got a cyst, it would last for probably three to six months. Like it would not go away, no matter if I put uh, salicylic acid, <laughs> benzoyl peroxide, uh, retin-A or tretinoin cream. Um, you know, I tried like everything. I tried eating vegan. I tried cutting out just cheese. Um, I actually, and this is like really crazy. I tried kicking my dogs outside because I was like, I didn't have acne before I had dogs. Like I must be allergic and my skin is just purging because I'm allergic. I don't know. I have literally, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I know that sounds so crazy, but I, I don't know. <laughs> it just, it seemed right to me. I was like, you know, I didn't have dogs. Now I have dogs. Now I have acne. Bam. But, um, in all reality, yes, it is genetics. And so since my dad had really bad acne, then I ended up getting really bad acne. Um, and I do still get some pimples every now and then, as you guys know, if you look at my Instagram, my face story, I went on Accutane and so I don't really have severe cystic acne anymore, but you know, if I'm super stressed out or if I haven't got enough sleep, um, not really eating right, stuff like that, of course I'm going to break out. I'm young, I'm always going to be stressed, I'm in school, I have multiple jobs, I have way too many jobs. Um, <laughs> So yeah, sometimes it's just inevitable and it's something that I've come to learn that doesn't define who I am um, because it's just a spot on your face. At the end of the day, it's just a spot on your face. And if it's a bunch of spots on your face, then it's just a bunch of spots on your face. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't define who you are. And I think that is like the biggest thing that I learned by having severe cystic acne. Um, it was also a very humbling experience because I went from being this super outgoing, super bubbly, and I don't mean to be like narcissistic at all when I say this, but people would compliment me a lot. They would come up to me and be like, you're really pretty, your hair looks so cute, oh my gosh, your eyelashes are so long, your fashion style is amazing, and then I felt like as soon as I got cystic acne, I was invisible. Um, like no one wanted to compliment me, no one wanted to talk to me. Um, people used to always tell me like I look like certain celebrities, like oh you look like this girl all the time, like almost every single day when I was at work. And then I just, I felt like a ghost, like I felt like no one saw me or cared about me and that was 
kind of hard. Um, I'm not really someone who likes that much attention anyways, but when you go from feeling good about yourself to feeling bad and then other people aren't really acknowledging you either, it kind of crushes you a lot, a lot bit, a little bit and a lot bit. Um, so yeah, that was probably like one of the hardest parts for me. And after I had tried everything, absolutely everything, like I said, I even kicked my dogs out of the house to get rid of my acne, I decided, okay, I'm gonna go to the dermatologist. And when I went, she prescribed me Accutane. I cried, yes, I cried. I'm not sure why. I was just so nervous to go. I was like, I don't wanna go. She's gonna give me Accutane. I've heard all these horrible things about it. And I went and the way she explained it was like, it's just straight vitamin A and it's really not that bad. Just talk to people who have done it. Don't talk to people who haven't done it because they have bad opinions, but people who have done it have good opinions. And so I was like, okay. Um, so I talked to people who had done it and they all told me, you know, it's a, it's really changed my life. It's really changed my skin. Um, I didn't really hear any bad things about it. So I was like, okay. After deciding to do Accutane, you know, I went through, there, stop it. I went through that whole process. Um, so it was six months. I was at 60 milligram dosage. And then, so since I've been done, you guys know I've been dealing with the scarring. And for that, I've been using the Banish Acne Scars Starter Kit, which has been amazing like I recommend it to everyone that I know because it's so awesome <laughs> I guess all I can say is that no matter what your face looks like all that matters is what's on the inside and I know that sounds so cheesy but it is so true like it's so true I'm not even kidding because you could be the most flawless person on the outside but if there's no content on the inside then what then what <laughs> you know what i mean it doesn't really matter all that matters is who you are and i don't know i think that acne is something that society tells us that we have to believe is ugly but if you and this you're gonna be like no way but if you literally look at yourself and you're like that pimple is beautiful that's right i said that pimple is beautiful then you will think that your pimples are beautiful. Seriously, it's as simple as that. Like, who says that it's ugly? If someone tells you that it's ugly, screw them. Like, what? Excuse me, it's my face. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I have lipstick on my teeth, great. This is like way out of order and probably very sporadic. What made me want to go on Accutane, I remember that I was on vacation um, with my husband's mom. We were in San Diego and <laughs> I hope that they don't watch this and they're like, oh my God, that's so mean. But, um, so my nephew who's little, he didn't mean anything by this, but this like, it really hurt my feelings because I kind of knew what he meant. I had washed all my makeup off and I was like getting ready for bed. And he looked at me and he was like, why is your face dirty? And it wasn't, it was just my acne. And he had asked me why my face was dirty and I cried like, the whole night because I was like, oh my god, I have like I have to do something about this. Like it's so bad that this little four-year-old notices. Then, yeah, I gotta do something. Basically, don't let your acne hold you back because it's just acne. It won't be there forever. It physically cannot last forever. Like it will go away. Okay, it will. It has to. Um, also. Don't let other people's opinions influence the way that you feel about yourself because you should be building yourself up with how you feel about yourself. Um, I said this on the live the other day, but whatever. It is exactly like that Dr. Seuss quote. I swear Dr. Seuss had it right. It was exactly like his quote, those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter. Exactly. So those that matter to you aren't gonna care what your face looks like at all. They won't. They'll still think you're beautiful. They'll still think you're awesome. They'll still think you're fun. They won't care. They'll probably sympathize with you, but they're not gonna be mean to you, especially if they matter. If they do mind that you have acne, then they do not matter at all. Like they should not be in your lives to begin with. And I tell people that all the time too, when they want tips on like, Obviously, I can't really give tips on dating because I'm married. <laughs> so
So, um, but with my husband, I was always, always, always really upfront with him. I'd be like, you know, I don't want to go out tonight. Like I'm feeling really bad about my face or just like express how I was feeling to him. And he would always tell me, you know, I thought that he would care a lot. He did not care at all. Like at first when, when I went to the dermatologist, he was like, why are you going there? Like your face looks fine. I'm like, do you not, are you? Like you don't have to say that. Like you do realize that. Like I love you, but you do not have to say that. Um, but yeah, guys, they really, or girls or whoever you're with, they really don't care. If they love you, they really are not going to care at all. Um, and they will support you regardless of you having a few spots or not. And yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all I have to say, guys. Um, if you want to, make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. It's my face story. And give the video a like. Don't people say that on YouTube? Give the video a like so that other people can see it and like it. And if you're inspired by this, then leave a comment so I can read it. And I love reading your comments. And okay, bye. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching so much. Have a good day.